physics and having a knowledge of the, the b basic physics behind ultrasound uh, can really help you understand what you're doing and become a better diagnostician. Most of that, I think, at our level occurs in the first year or two after medical school. And that's when we start to focus on radiology and we start to learn about all of these different artifacts. Trying to wrap your head around why they happen and what they mean can be really beneficial. Like we talked about earlier with the simple cyst, just as an example, figuring out what those artifacts mean and, and what the physics behind the, the changes in speed as it goes from a solid to a fluid. Um, what that means for what your image should look like, I think can be a big part of it. Um, it's something that I think later on in our careers, a lot of radiologists take for granted because we spend a couple of really intensive years learning the physics underlying how we interpret these images. And once we understand that physics, it becomes a little bit more ingrained into we know what to look for and if it's not there, we already know why or what to look for next. But uh, especially early in radiology residency, learning physics is a very big part of our training. Not only just looking at images and learning how to interpret them, but learning why they look like they do and how that may give us more information uh, about what's going on in that image. Probably my best advice and something that, that helps me continue to enjoy learning in my career is just staying curious. Um, a lot of these classes I remember kind of looking back on the pre-medical years sometimes felt like hoops to jump through of, well, why do I have to learn this or I just have to learn this to prove that I can. But I think if you stay curious about each class along the way of, while I'm here, I might as well learn the most I can. and. Um, ask questions while you're doing it. I think that can help make it interesting, but I think that it really improves your ability as a doctor. I think too often we kind of get in the, the stream of learning something and that's the answer. And I think that physics is a great example of that. A lot of the time, yeah, there is an answer. You know, it's not, oh, I think the force was 13 joules. Well, your math was wrong. It was 17. That's not really something that you're going to question and stay curious about. But um, there are certainly areas of physics, just like there are areas of medicine where things are changing and things that we thought 100 years ago were solid fact that was never going to change have been shown to be absolutely false. Um, so I think staying curious kind of helps keep you engaged, but also if you are looking at a uh, future in medicine, really can make you be a better physician because instead of just following a pathway that somebody set of, oh, somebody's short of breath, it's one of these 17 things, you wonder, oh, they're short of breath. Is it one of those 17 things or is it something different? And just kind of keep asking questions of what do we know and why do we know it and um, hopefully that will help you enjoy what you're doing but also maybe um, make some new discoveries and 